welcome to today's session i hope you guys have all been well i hope your families are doing great and i hope everything has been going fine for you guys so far um my name is biobele and i am going to be your host for today so before we get right in i have a question a very nice question <laughs> um if you had the chance to build anything in the world at all anything what would you want to build so i'll go first if i had a chance to build something for myself i would make a cottage i would build a cottage which is like a little house a cute little cozy house with um i would like a garden as well in the front with um vegetables where i can plant vegetables and like flowers and yeah that's what i would like to build what would you guys like to build okay now getting right into the message for today i'm glad first of all i'm very excited because we're starting a whole new series today and this series is called blueprints and in this series we're going to be talking about our feelings and what god's word has to say about our feelings and how we should deal with our feelings what we should do when we feel different things when we feel sad when we feel happy when we feel angry so that's what we're going to be learning about all this fun stuff in this series okay because god gave us this feeling so he would have the best thing to say about how we should deal with these feelings right good so now we're going to learn about a man called jonah and what he did so jonah was a man in the bible that god told to go to the city of nineveh and the people of nineveh did really bad things that god didn't like and god told jonah to go there and tell them to stop doing those bad things and to start loving god instead and start loving other people and stop doing these bad things to each other but jonah didn't want to go he was really sad that god had asked him to do that so instead of going to nineveh jonah ran away he got on board a ship that was going far, far away from where God had sent him. He got on the ship and he went straight to sleep. He went straight to sleep and all of a sudden a big storm came that rocked the ship back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Everyone was scared. The captain, the sailors, everyone was scared and terrified. And Jonah was still fast asleep. So they came and woke him up. And once he woke up and realized what was happening, he felt sad because he knew that God had sent the storm because he did not do what God had asked him to do. So he said to the sailors and the captain, throw me overboard into the ocean <laughs> and everything will calm down. And everyone thought he was crazy at first, but then they did and everything calmed down. But thankfully, God had prepared a big, big, big fish think like a whale to swallow up Jonah so that he wouldn't drown in the ocean. So thankfully, <laughs> Jonah didn't drown. He was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Can you imagine that? But God kept him safe even while he was in the belly of the fish. And in the belly, he felt sad that he had disobeyed God and he was sorry for what he had done and asked God to forgive him. And then after the third day, God commanded the fish to spit out Jonah on dry land. So he was safe and dry and warm again. And he was happy and went ahead to do what God had asked him to do in Nineveh. So what can we learn from this story today? That even when Jonah was lonely in the belly of the fish, God saw him and God loved him. Even when he's sad. So what can we learn in our lives? That when we are sad... God loves us. Now repeat after me, kids. When I'm sad, God loves me. Again, whenever I'm sad, God loves me. So always remember that, guys, whenever you're feeling sad about anything, okay? So now it's fun time, craft time, and I want you guys to try this out. I think it's really cool. So you're going to need to get an old shoe box or any kind of like container or something where you can put stuff in and just put in the stuff that make you happy, the things that make you happy. Maybe your favorite toy, um, something nice that a friend got you, something that makes you happy. Maybe you can write down on a piece of paper like a memory, something that you like experience, something that made you happy, just happy things. Write these things down, put your toy, put 
whatever it is that makes you happy put it in the shoe box or the container and you can decorate the shoe box you can use crayons you can use stickers you could just make it all colorful make it look pretty make it how you want to make it and just keep those things in there and whenever you're feeling sad whenever you're feeling scared embarrassed angry just bring out these things and remember that god is with you at all times and god is greater than your feelings and god loves you no matter what you're feeling so I want you guys to try this out try this out with your family um, and I think it's a really fun thing to do so just put in the stuff you like put in anything you're thankful for just anything happy things things that make you happy put it all in and see how that makes you feel <laughs> now it's time for our memory verse so i want you guys to repeat after me all right okay even if we don't feel at ease god is greater than our feelings and he knows everything one more time even if we don't feel at ease god is greater than our feelings and he knows everything and this is from first john 3 verse 20. all right kiddos time to pray um put your hands together close your eyes and let's say this simple prayer together thank you lord for our feelings thank you for giving us feelings help us to look to you when we have these feelings so we know what to do and help us remember that you love us when, even when we are sad. And help us remember that you are greater than our feelings. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this session. Um, it was nice talking with you. And yeah, stay safe. Stay calm. Remember, Jesus loves you. And I love you too.